In this illustration, now we'll analyze the photo emission from two light sources. Here it is saying, when a metal surface is radiated with light of wavelength 4950 angstrom, a photo current appear which vanishes at a stopping potential 0.6 volt, which is stopping the fastest electron in the photoelectric effect. And one another source of light is used on same metal. The stopping potential changes to 1.1 volt. That means the energy of second light source is higher. And we are going to find the work function of metal surface and wavelength of the second source. Here in solution we can write energy of first radiation is this E1 we can write 1, 2, 4, 3, 1 by 4, 9, 5, 0 directly in electron volt. We will get it as 2.51 electron volt. Now, if we calculate the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons in first case, then we are already given that the maximum kinetic energy we know it is given as E V naught. Here we can write it V naught one, the first stopping potential, so the zero point six electron volt. So here we use the value of E one must be equals to work function plus the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons, which directly result as the work function value, which is E1 minus maximum kinetic energy, which on calculation this gives us 2.51 minus 0 0.6, that is equals to 1.91 electron volt. This is one result of the problem for work function. Now we can write for second radiation. The maximum kinetic energy can be given as K max 2. This we can write as K max 1. And here for K max 2 we can write E V naught 2, which is 1.1 electron volt. And in this case, uh, if we again write the equation of photoelectric effect, again we use E2 is equals to 5 plus K E max 2. Here work function remains same, this 1.91 electron volt plus maximum kinetic energy here is 1.1 which is 3.01 electron volt. So, if we calculate the wavelength of second radiation, this can be directly given by lambda is equals to 1, 2, 4, 3, 1 by energy which is 3.01. On calculation, we'll get 4129.9 angstrom. That is the result of this problem.